Good morning guys, welcome to a day in my life. There is little me waking up. I usually wake up around 6.30 or 7 a.m. every day. I don't use the alarm like other people. My body just wakes up naturally like this. So I wake up and check my phone and I go straight to Snapchat because I'm very bad with streaks so I have to send a, a streak snap right away or else I'll forget and I have lots of many, many streaks. <laughs> Right after that, I go to my gaming folder and check on the Sims mobile app game that I'm currently playing. Usually a task is done by the time I wake up. <laughs> And now it's time to get up, unfortunately. <laughs> After I shower, I'm ready to start my Korean skincare routine. Once I've finished with my skin and body care, I will go and open the shades as well as the windows. And of course, to make the bed. I had a really bad habit in high school not making my bed, so I made sure once I got to college, I would try to make my bed every single day. After making my bed, I'll finish any other work that I didn't get to finish the night before. This morning in particular, I wanted to review a story that I had to read for my, for my American Topics class so I could be prepared to work this day. I forgot to film it, but for breakfast I usually eat cereal, bagels and cream cheese, leftovers, croissant. <laughs> By the time I leave, it's around 9.15, 9.20 a.m. My first class is American Topics at 9.40 a.m. I live at the downtown dorms at Hawaii University, so it takes around 20 minutes to get to my classroom building. It could take a little longer or a little shorter just depending on if I catch the, the crosswalk sign. <laughs> HBU downtown campus is centered right in downtown, so I do pass a lot of restaurants, businesses, offices, and homeless people on my way to class. But I like it that way because I don't feel like I'm stuck in a university bubble where it's just students and faculty. I actually feel like I'm part of the community and can interact with the real world. I normally take the stairs up to my classes because they're both on the second and third floor of the Model Progress building, but the elevator was opening just as I arrived, so I thought, why not take the elevator this time since I was pretty early to class?
My first class of the day is called American Topics and we basically read passages out of this Becoming Americans book and then we sit around in a circle and talk about it. All the stories have to do with immigration to America which is something I really like. This class is probably my most favorite class I've taken during this freshman year. <laughs> Now it's time to go to my second and last class of the day, which is called Introduction to Research in Humanities. It's one of the writing requirements you have to complete as a freshman at HPU. On this day, we were having a debate. I was on the con side of our argument, and the argument was freak shows should be banned, and so I argued, argued that freak shows should be banned. And now I am done with classes. By this time, it is around 11.45 a.m. I'd like to get my classes over with in the morning, preferably, because I want to have the rest of my day to work on homework or do whatever I need to. So now I'm just walking back to my dorm. p.m. I actually got back in my dorm at 12 o'clock but I took a nap I'm really really tired because I have a math test tomorrow and I have to do a lot of work for that so right now I'm going to go downstairs to get lunch. chicken curry. Uh, let me get this out of the way. Um, I don't like chicken curry so I just got beef and then there's dinner roll rice I put some lettuce to kind of mix, mix it in so that's for lunch. Um, and right now I'm just going to watch some YouTube videos and then get right to work because again meth test really stressful. And of course I always have to have my water bottle with me. I always drink, I always drink water. Ever since I got to college, I have drank the most water I have in my life when I was back at home. I drink water occasionally. I didn't really drink it much when I was in school. Um, I mostly drink like apple juice or any sort of juice, really, not really water. But school, the only drink that I really drink is water. I may get like a soda sometimes or like some pineapple juice when I go to restaurants. Um, but water is my choice of drink and my skin is thankful for that because my skin is pretty clear so go water and to save on water bottles on water bottles like buying them at the store i was just getting a water filter i think this was like 40 dollars my roommate brought this um it, so it's really nice and all i have to do is fill up some a cup with with tap water and then pour it in with this size jar, it's about four pours, so it's really not that much, and it trust me, it saves a lot of money. It's like going to the store and buying like this big 
but bulk of water bottles. And it also saves or it's eco-friendly, so buy this. That, that just makes me mad about the online math uh, site is that this question has, I think, five or six parts. And if I get just one part wrong, I get the last question wrong, um, that do the whole problem over. Which problem isn't that long, but it's just, it's like stressful. It's like, why can't I just do this one problem over instead of the whole thing? Um, actually, I do take the math class like in person, but all the homework and quizzes are online. Um, then the uh, the assignments and the test are in um, in person. It just you know it just stresses me out that I have to do a problem over again. Mm -hmm. Hi guys! Hi guys! So it is now 6:55 p.m. I have been doing math since three, I think. Um, I'm still going through. Um, I completed all the homework. I want to improve my homework grade as best as I, as best as I could. Um, and then I'm going to do the quiz grades to try to um, improve them. So, dinner is in five minutes. I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to like relax watching YouTube videos, taking a break between math, and then I'm going to get right back into the quiz quizzes. Get this tomorrow. So, yay. I'm also um, doing a little time lapse of the sky so that should hopefully it will turn out really good and are you guys wondering empty bed that is my roommate Natalia's bed um she's at work right now she works on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays um she gets off around 9 so she's she's back here around 9 30 so she won't be, be here for a little bit so yeah let's go get dinner <laughs> Shines uh, some sort of color every night. So like, right now it's blue. Sometimes on holidays it goes like different colors. So, like Christmas, it's like green and red. Valentine's Day it was pink and red. It's really nice that they, they light up different colors. Last night it was like like different colors, like flashing a lot. So it's pretty cool. Right now it's like a purple bluish, but I can see it right out my window. This guy over there always plays music. Really cool. <laughs> so I just got back from dinner. Before I sit down and eat dinner and watch some videos and relax a little bit, I'm going to change it to my pajamas because I know 
once I finish dinner and get back to work, I want to like work straight through. I don't want to be interrupted. So, so I go get get on my pajamas, wrap up my hair, kind of put up my hair in a night scarf. I'm like, unless I want to wake up in the morning and have a mess to do with the morning, which I don't want that. Um, so yeah, I'll also do my skincare routine. Gotta take care of my skin. My nighttime skincare routine is almost similar to my morning skincare routine. I did make a skincare video last November, but I got new products and scents, so it's a little bit different to products. But basically, I have an oil cleanser here, and I also have a different toner, and I have this exfoliator here. I'm also going to use this brush. Too. And I also use a night mask. I just got this one. It's the Innisfree Aloe Revital CB Mask. I won't put this on until until before I go to bed. Um, there's no point I'm wearing it right now. I also I also have this Bite Lip not Lip Night Mask because my lips get very chapped, so I'll use that. And also the eyelash serum to make my eyelashes grow. From work. <laughs> I'm all sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they had um, berry chocora. Berry chocora. So it's like some kind of flavor by Pocky. I think it's like a springtime flavor. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, it looks like it has strawberries and it looks to be cranberries. So these berry Pocky. Very chocolate pocky are really really good. They taste like the Brookside uh, chocolate covered acai slash berry berries. You guys ever tried them? They're really good. Try these are really good. And you see this, they're really good too. This is the coconut pocky. Mmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. York. Needed that too. Oh, I get to sleep in. It's great. <laughs>
guys, so it is pretty late now. I am done with my work. I'm gonna get up in the morning to study some more because I do my best work usually when I get up in the morning after a nice, a good night's sleep. Um, that is the end of my day in the life video. Thank you so much for watching it. Um, guys, in case you guys didn't know, my name is Tatiana. I am a freshman at Hawaii Pacific University in <laughs> in Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, I am originally from Johns Creek, Georgia. So yes, I'm, I came all, all, way just, all the way from the East Coast to Hawaii for college. If you guys are interested in coming to Hawaii Pacific University for college, then I will link my HP pl HPU playlist down below. And I'll also link my overall vlogs playlist down below. So I will say goodbye here. Bye guys.